All right, guys, I'm going to make this video as fast as possible. Um, I don't even feel like working on this piece of shit right now, but going to anyway, got a flat tire this morning. You can see the black line from me riding on it flat to get it home because I didn't care. Um, I put air in it and it held, but there's still a big nail in it. So uh, I'm not going to talk too much. Just going to hop right into it. My title for this video is probably going to be how to plug your tire in five minutes. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my jack, my tools, and I'm going to time myself for five minutes on this. And uh, basically all I'm going to need is a jack. Um, you could use a tire iron. I'm going to use an impact gun to take the wheel off. Um, some kind of pry tool to go ahead and get the object out of the tire. You're going to need a tire plug kit, which you can get at like Dollar General for like a couple dollars. And a torque wrench i would recommend torquing your wheels back down if your wheel falls off your car after watching this video that's on you i'm not responsible for any of that shit um so first thing you need to do is you need to assess what's wrong with the tire if there's a hole in the side wall side wall if the valve stem's leaking if there's a crack in the wheel from hitting a big bump you're not going to be able to do this job but if you just have a bolt and it's somewhere in the middle and not too close to the sidewall on the, or, um, yeah, not too close to the sidewall on the outside or the inside, you'll be able to plug it. Um, I hate this car; it's a piece of junk, but it gets me back and forth to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to plug it because it took me. It's gonna take me like five dollars to fix it instead of getting something else. So let me get this up, get the wheel off, and uh, I'll show you guys. Five minute time lapse. All right, guys. Before I start this video, this is what a tire plug kit looks like. This is gonna be the tool. That's going to go ahead and plug the tire and you need this tool also. So this is what's going to come in your normal kit. This is what you're going to insert first to inside the tire, which I'm going to show you when I pull it off. Um, you need to ream the hole out so you have a clean surface to go ahead and put one of these inside of this and then you'll rip it out. This might seem confusing to some people. Um, it's very, very easy to do. So that's why we're going to make a video. And it shouldn't take me long at all, so I just hop into it. So the wheel's off and you can see roll back right here that's where the nail is going to be so I mean, you can look elsewhere on the tire to see if you have anything else i mean that's probably like shit from the road but pretty easy to tell that that's where i need to fix guys this doesn't need to be rushed like you don't like you don't want all the air to get out of your tire but the, you don't have to like make this the fastest thing possible just have your stuff ready so I have my plug ready, or I'm sorry, my reamer ready. Pair of needle nose ready. Might have to get a bigger pair of pliers. Come on, bitch. There we go. All right. So that's all it was. You guys can hear it. It's fine. Put that in the trash. So first thing I'm gonna do is assess where the hole is. And then work this tool in and out of that hole. You would think like, oh, why are you putting a bigger hole in the tire? Why are you doing this? It has to have a clean surface for when you put that plug in there. So just twist it like maybe 10, 12 times. I don't have an answer for that. Well, Alexa, just twist it like 12. Then you hear the air still coming out, it's fine. I'm gonna leave that in there right now. And while I'm leaving that in there, I can still hear the air seeping out. I'm gonna take one of the plugs out of here. It's like tore is what it feels like. All right, peel it off the paper, just like so. When I peel it off the paper, there's like the little hole insert in there. Gonna go ahead. It's kind of a pain to get started sometimes. That's like the hardest part. There we go. Should have enough now. Yep. All right. 
And my goal is to get this about right in the middle. That's what I want it to look like in there. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out. Now you can hear it's really deep in air now. And then this takes a little bit of effort. That's what I my watch. All right, so it takes a little bit of effort. Ah, a little bit of weight. So, I didn't get that. come on. So you guys, I'm hoping you can see, there's a little bit of tabs that are sticking out. You do not want to shove this whole thing in here and you're going to want to trim off a little bit up top. So I can already hear the tires plugged right now. It's going to hold air. I already know it's going to, but what you want to do to get this out, I rotate it a couple times, maybe like three, four times. So you can see it's moving. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to yank this as hard as I can and as fast as I can. And it's actually going to separate that rubber and leave it inside there. So one, two, three, just like that, as hard as I could. You guys can see little tabs sticking out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle nose or a pair of like uh, X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna cut that remainder off. All right, so I had to go get a knife and this is the end result. I'm gonna put the tire back on. I'm gonna fill it up to proper air, whatever your vehicle recommendation is. I'm gonna put this one at 32 pounds. Um, just make sure you're torquing the wheel back down before you put it back, but that's how you want your plug to look. You want it to look flush. Um, you run it over a few times on the road and it'll get all the way down in there. The reason you want to flush is because if it has too many ears, like if they're too tall, it's actually going to rip it out of the tire when you drive. So pretty easy guys. I know it's like a five minute video. Now, and that's all it really needs to be. If you have a hole in your tire, it's literally that easy. Get something to pull it out you don't have to rush. You can plug it and save yourself money from getting a new tire. So until next time guys, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Go ahead and drop a comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hopefully, uh, yeah, just keep getting the views and keep getting the subs. Support those who support you.